Hey guys, welcome back. I just got home, took a shower. So we're gonna go over these two phones we bought. This is the first one, it is the, uh, I'm trying to find an actual model, SCHR270. We have one of these in red, that's with US Cellular. Um, so there's that one. We also got this blue phone, which I don't really have very many blue phones, so I don't know, I've never really been a big fan of them. But here it is, jumbo thing. And then also, um, I didn't unbox these two on camera. I have this one and this one. Um, I didn't unbox them on camera. I've had them for a week now, but I totally forgot. Um, this is the Samsung E900. Very close to the uh, Nimbus, I think it is, with Altel. As you can see, this is just the GSM version, CDMA, physical buttons, and these are or touch sensitive except for the uh, D-pad. So that's pretty cool. And then this one is a Pantec, or UT Starcom, I guess, you know, when they were bought out. CDM 180. The problem with this one is if any of you guys know what it is, maybe you guys could help me figure it out. So it starts to boot up and it shows this little screen and it just goes in a boot cycle for uh, basically ever until the battery dies. Um, if anybody could help me out with that one, that'd be nice. Uh, I could figure that out, but I had a lot of problems, but this is a one I've never seen before. Um, UT Starcom and then AudioVox um, was basically the, the um, phone makers that had this problem. Um, I guess they're basically the same. They use the same charger, so there's that one. Here's our two new additions, and then our other one that I've had for a while now. I've filmed the videos, but uh, when I was editing them, I think I accidentally deleted them. Um, I do all my editing through my Note 10, through the factory, um, what's it called, the um, gallery. So all my editing's done there, and I must have just deleted it when I was doing all these others. I just got done doing some drop tests. I did a uh, drop test on an iPhone 8, um, an iPhone 6S, uh, an iPhone 6, another 6S, and then an LG phone. Um, all those iPhones were iCloud locked, so they were no good, and I really didn't care. Um, in the next week, I'll make a video. I'm going to be posting a phone lot on my eBay, um, profile. I'm going to get rid of them. There's a whole bunch of them. They're all broken. For the most part, there's going to be a whole bunch of iPhones in there. That iCloud locked a whole bunch of random parts, so, um, I'll post that video if anybody's interested, and I'll link that in my eBay store so people can see, uh, what they're bidding on. Or buying, I should say. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for more.